Secretary Clinton during the debate made a joke, everybody should love me in response to whether Wall Street will love her. Do you think the average American can trust that her record shows someone who's going to try to close the income gap, focus on corporate greed? Yeah, I don't believe that Secretary Clinton has the independence or the backbone to step up to Wall Street. I believe that I do. Secretary Clinton has said herself that she represented Wall Street. Uh, in her so-called tough talk to Wall Street, she opened by thanking all of her swell donors that were there in the crowd. She has taken money uh, uh, hand over fist for big speaking fees as well as contributions to her campaign and her family foundation from Wall Street. And she is the only candidate of the three of us that is not in favor of, of reinstating a modern version of Glass-Steel. Bloomberg News greeted her uh, proposal to, so, to supposedly reign in Wall Street by saying that, uh, uh, that it was greeted with a shrug by Wall Street. Uh, Politico, I believe, said that uh, it left the banks off the hook. And that's what it does. Hillary Clinton simply doesn't believe that the big banks are anything but really swell, great institutions. and. Um, and it's too bad. She knows that the rest of us don't feel that way, but it's the one issue that, uh, you know, it's uh, while she shows an ability to flip-flop back and forth on other things, whether it's climate change or whether it's guns or, or whether it's uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership or Keystone, she is pretty uh, dead set on uh, protecting big banks from uh, being broken up. And that's not where the general public is. Look, the American people should expect their president to be able to protect our Main Street economy from Wall Street recklessness, greed, and excesses. You were very aggressive tonight. What's your plan to break through? Uh, I'm going to continue to organize. I'm going to continue to talk to voters in New Hampshire and in Iowa. And history has shown that the results on caucus night and the results here in New Hampshire rarely ever look like what the polls say in December. So I'm going to offer that message for new leadership. Whenever our country faces a stalemate, gridlock, the diet of politics in Washington, we turn to a new leader. Uh, President Obama was, was such a leader, but we need to build upon his progress and we need to move forward and not back. I'm the only one of the three of us that offers us that ability. All right, one more, one more question, just from Scholastic News. What is your name? My name is Stone Chen. I am Scholastic News Kids Press Corps.